Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? How do they feel about you? Um, how do they view this connection? How are they viewing you at this time? We'll also look at their intentions towards you and what do they wish they could tell you? So let's jump right in. Aquarius, I, was, I wanted to say Aries there for a second. Weird. First thing just guides to me. Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius in love. What does Aquarius need to know regarding love? What does Aquarius need to know, sir? What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, we have very soon. What does Aquarius need to know? Religious factors. Okay, so this is divine timing. When I see these two cards together. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what this means. Tell me more for Aquarius. What is going on for them in love? What is going on for Aquarius? In love, sir. Okay, all right. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, the star, Aquarius, there you are, four of wands. Well, this looks great. Um, great energy. I feel like this is what you've hoped for. I feel like these two cards are connected, like with the sky here. Like someone's wish or desire is to have stability, happy ending, marriage, happy home, domestic bliss. What is going on with my deck? Two of Cups, okay. Two of Cups, so this could be somebody that is your soulmate, divinely guided, counterparts, twin flames, if you believe in that, faded love, you know? Um, basically, the Two of Cups is a card about someone that you really mesh well with, that is kind of like your best friend and lover, you know, there's a very strong connection and lots of things in common, things like that. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Queen of Pentacles, okay. Can I get one more place for this? Knight of Cups. This could be somebody, um, okay. Uh, High Priestess, Knight of Swords. So this is someone coming forward with a message. The Chariot after that, Cancer Energy. Very quickly, with the Knight of Swords and the Chariot, very quickly. Um, now, the High Priestess is here. So I feel like this is something that someone may be kept secret, kept hidden, was not expressed before. Um, their intuition could be guiding them here because the spirit is involved. This could be an apology, a confession, asking you out. The Knight of Cups is very sincere. Can I get one please for the Six of Pentacles? One more. So when I see this, uh, this Six of Pentacles, yeah, look at this, the tower. This is an unexpected message or something that maybe is out of the blue Aquarius, especially because the High Priestess was there. But when I was, what I was gonna say is this, this Six of Pentacles, you know, typically the Six of Pentacles is a card about equal give and take, giving as well as receiving, et cetera, et cetera. But when I saw this card here and then I saw the Knight of Cups, this is someone that wants to like take you out, um, cater to you, give you something here. But I feel like you're not expecting it from this person. This communication, Page of Swords, yes. This is a message coming in and it's like you don't expect it. There's the Hermit Virgo energy. Maybe you haven't heard from this person in forever. Maybe you're not in contact. Maybe this is someone that's physically far from you. Like this is a very, you're not even in the same place. Um, 
Okay, so tell me about this star. Tell me about this star. Why is this star here? Ace of Wands. Wow. Tell me about this star. Yeah, there's something new in store that I feel you've manifested. Ooh, Three of Swords. Tell me more about this star. Six of Swords. Okay. So I feel whatever this new beginning is i feel like it's going to be bittersweet um this wish is going to be granted but it's going to be bittersweet and i think it's because there's something that needs to be exchanged there's something that needs to be left behind here with the six of swords you or your person need to walk away from something in order to manifest this wish so it's not going to be an easy you know it's not going to be all butterflies and rainbows basically I think deep down you know this though. I'm getting also for some of you, you don't know this person, which probably sounds odd because I feel like this is this is someone you manifested, but I feel like this is someone that you don't know is being guided towards you. And I think that's why it's bittersweet because Maybe it wasn't the person you thought it was going to be. Maybe you need to let the past go in order to have a new beginning in love. So I'm seeing both, both sides of it. So, you know, this is going to be something that leads you or has the potential, I guess I should say. This has the potential of being something very beautiful with the Ace of Wands. But keep in mind that it's not going to be easy and it might cost you. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? Ace of Swords. Another Ace. Why is the Four of Wands here? Tell me more for Aquarius. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, one more for the four of wands. Six of wands. Okay. Three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Coming together. Celebrating. There's the devil. There's something here, Aquarius, where it's like every good thing is coming along with an asterisk, a disclaimer. <laughs> I have here the tower that comes with someone coming towards you. I feel like this might be unsettling, shocking, unexpected for you. There's something here that is going to require you or someone else to make a painful decision, a painful departure, leave something behind. And then here with Ace of Swords, I have the Seven of Swords, but then the Six of Wands. So it's almost like reassurance that every, everything's gonna work out. There's gonna be victory at the end of this, but not without some issues. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? What's the Seven of Swords about? The lovers. Gemini energy. There's the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's going to be, you know, and this very well could be this seven of swords, three of swords. There could be a third person involved here who causes drama, who makes things difficult. There might be conflict, right? Someone here could approach you, talk to you, and, you know, maybe there's a reunion or a beautiful beginning between you but maybe other people aren't happy for you or there's other outside influences that affect your happiness or interfere with your happiness i guess i should say tell me about the ace of swords
Five of Swords. Yeah. Okay. So, hmm. There's the Chariot again. So someone's going to come forward, approach you, talk to you. There's going to be some sort of message. Okay. A message that you probably don't expect. And I think this message is going to rock your world for good or for bad. I don't know. Um, but I feel like it's going to bring about some sort of conflict here. Like there's someone here and I really hope it's not your person. Um, it could be that they're admitting something to you with the Ace of Swords and Seven of Swords, Five of Swords here, you know, like admitting something, confessing something, or it could be that when they do reach out here, you have to deal with like drama, you know, despite the fact that maybe a connection is coming together. I hope that this isn't confusing anybody, but this is the message I'm getting. And I feel like I'm getting it every step of the way here. Spirit, what can Taurus expect? Not Taurus, Aquarius. Why am I thinking of other signs? They're not even out here. Gemini. Well, there is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Can we dealing with a Taurus or an Aries? I haven't even done any, any signs like that today. For Aquarius spirit, what can Aquarius expect next? What can another ace? What can Aquarius expect next? Knight of Pentacles. Okay, hold on. Excuse me, we just got to get myself together here. King of Pentacles there. Okay. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. That's what you can expect. An offer coming in. Um, and once again, I don't get anything off with the offer itself. This is why it's like kind of odd. The offer itself, I feel, is very genuine. The message is genuine. The message itself is not the problem because it brings clarity and it begins something new, starts something new. It's a solid offer, right? I am so sorry. I am a mess over here. I don't have room on this table. But I feel like there's, um, it's almost like there's someone that's not going to be happy or an outside influence that affects. It, it, it's almost like they make everything bittersweet or they just kind of ruin it, you know? Tell me about the Six of Wands. Tell me about the Six. Okay, Ten of Swords. Strength, yeah. So this, this success is tied to an ending. And for some reason, I think this ending is after you meet or reconnect. Leo energy with the strength card. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. What do we need to know, Spare, about the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles? The Moon, Pisces energy. Two of Swords. Okay, so you might not know. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, please. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So Aquarius, the message I just got, and I can't believe I missed this. Some of you are going to reject this person. Some of you are going to reject this offer. I'm also getting some of you are not going to know this is coming at all like you you're not going to see this coming with the two of swords the pice the the pisces card the moon card and the nine of pentacles it's like you're minding your own business doing your own thing and then this uh, this offer comes and it comes with problems basically i feel like it's because this offer okay so let me just some of you are going to reject this offer and it's going to be very painful for someone that's for at least some of you here for others of you, I feel like this offer is coming unexpected, but with this offer, accepting this offer is going to require you to end or leave something behind, you or this other person. And so it's not an easy transition or it is it's not something, it's very bittersweet, like I said. It's going to require courage, I feel, or strength from for someone to end this. You know, the Strength card, Ten of Swords. Um, despite the fact that I feel in your future there's success, victory, that things are going to work out in the end. Some of you are dealing with someone that's not happy for you. Maybe this is family members, par partners, friends, um, ex-partners of yours. That they're not going to be happy. And they might, they might try to get in the way of this. Um, but 
I feel like the main problem is the first two sets of scenarios that I already mentioned. Some of you are going to reject this offer, number one, and number two, others of you, there has to be a cost for this offer. Like this offer is not free. It's going to cost you something. And I feel like you're going to be possibly, you know, if it is going to cost you something, it's going to be very difficult for you to make that decision. You know, even, even though there's love here, even if there is, you know, two of cups, the lovers, soulmate type of situation, this is divinely guided. This is all happening in divine timing. And, you know, it's going to be up to you whether you take it or not, right? Spirit is not going to force anything on you. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope this resonated and it wasn't too confusing. If you enjoyed the reading, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing. Um, I'd love to have you if you're not subscribed. Uh, thank you so much for um, your support, for your likes, shares, subscribes. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon with another video. Take care.